everybody. Today is Friday, March 17th, so happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I am just heading out the door to go to get an x-ray done, and I'm going to take you along, so let's go. I just wanted to say that I'm completely tired of winter. It can just go away now. Come on, it's March. We probably had the most amount of snowstorms here now in March. <sighs> I hate winter. Okay, but anyways, um, I am on my way to the hospital to go and get x-rays done on my hips. We are just trying to figure out if there is anything co else causing my hip pain. So checking for deformities and stuff like that. Um, I just really want answers, but I am also aware that it, the first thing they try usually isn't the one that finds the answers. But we're gonna go. school gym locker room type thing it was like that and the um, the slats were really wide and the gap underneath the door was really large and so honestly if someone wanted to there wouldn't be much to hide so I felt a little bit uncomfortable with that but we're done now and now we just have to wait for results but I brought my grocery bags with me and I'm gonna go get some groceries now. I'm back from getting groceries. Let me tell you, it is so cold out there. Like it is so windy and there's gotta be a wind chill today because my lips and my nose are still kind of numb. But anyways, let me show you what I got. I'm gonna sit. My hips really hurt right now. Oh, a little chair. Okay. So I went to Superstore and Co-op. I got some turkey. My cheese was on sale, so I bought two. I got a can of green beans. I got a can of kidney beans. I got some grapes and some lactose free margarine. I got two bags of our favorite chips, lactose free milk, guacamole. A zucchini, some bananas, lactose free sour cream, lactose free cream cheese, some vitamin C, and a box of chicken because it was finally on sale. This stuff is amazing. Let's clean it up.
Okay, can we just take a second to appreciate my outfit today? Because I actually feel like this turned out really cute. So I have on like a turtleneck with this cute shirt. I got it from the men's section and then I have these cute paper bag pants on and I just feel really cute. I wanted to wear something green and so that's why I wear green pants. So yeah. <laughs> spring even though it's showing um, if you look outside right now it does not look like spring at all but um, every like March April is when I repot all of my plants um, today I'm gonna be leaving out my really big plants just because I haven't found big enough pots for them yet um, but I'm just gonna be going through all of these and swapping out their pots and giving them fresh dirt it just encourages new growth during the spring and it kind of gets them excited and helps them to grow a little bit faster. So we're gonna do that. prickles in my thumb but I thought I would introduce you to my plants um so far I would say all of them got a new pot and some new dirt except for this one because she has grown out of this pot but I don't have a bigger pot well I do but it's not my favorite so I want to get her a really cute pot and then I will repot her um this is a frosty echeveria, and I think out of all of my plants, she is the one that I've had the longest. I've had her since college. She once upon a time actually lived in this cute little pot. Um, I don't actually have a name for her, but let's be honest, I've named some of my plants so many times, I just always forget what their name is. So I'll think about that one. It's probably gonna be frosty just because it that it's in the name, so I'll remember. Next, this is Florence. So Florence isn't looking too hot because she was very root bound. And so she was in a quite a small pot for a long time and she grew like all of these little babies in there and then they became really root bound and were not thriving then. So that's this. And this cute little wheelbarrow is actually from the dollar store and then I painted it yellow because my favorite color is yellow. Next up we have one of my cactuses. This is Milo. 
So Milo used to actually have a second, I guess a twin, but when we first moved into this apartment, I didn't know that the air conditioner unit was right on top of my plants and it froze little Milo. So I had to get rid of part of him, but he's thriving now. This one also doesn't have a name, but this is a lifesaver plant. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about, say about it. Oh, actually, they do grow really cool flowers. They look like plastic. Google it. Lifesaver plant. Next, I have a cute little zebra plant. I also don't have a name for this one. I think I just thought of one. Pebbles, because she's so small. As you can see, most of them don't have names, except for the really special ones. Here I have, I'm forgetting what kind of you are. Is that the tip of my tongue? Well, there's that one. I keep wanting to say a philodendron, but that is not a philodendron. Then I have this little Hoya. And I have this cute little snake plant. So this is different than most snake plants because she's like really skinny. Um, unlike other snake plants, she had a little bit of a traumatic uh, pot change but she should adjust just fine. And then lastly, I have this mini um, rubber plant. Super cute. I have, um, here, I may as well just go show you the rest of them because some of them did not get new pots today. Okay, so this is one of our snake plants. This one I actually gifted to Matt for a six month anniversary and he named it Sylvia. In the bedroom, we have this really sad looking um, rubber plant. I'm trying to revive her, but we'll see. This is one of the newest additions that I got this week. Um, this is a ZZ plant and I named her Zalia. And lastly, I have this snake plant here and then this cactus. As you can see, this cactus is looking a little bit rough. Yeah, some of them are still adjusting to this apartment. It doesn't get a whole lot, blah, blah, it doesn't get a whole lot of direct sunlight. And so I kind of have to pick and choose. Well, it does depending on the room. See, our bedroom gets a lot of direct sunlight, but the other places don't. And so I have to kind of be a little bit selective, but I'm gonna put these guys in their places and then I'm gonna water them. <laughs> the video here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I hope you'll stick around. Bye!